Hello, today we're making red onion and rosemary focaccia bread. Our first stage is to make an easy white bread mix. So I've got my flour in there, yeast and salt, and I've already made a well. Chris is going to put the olive oil in for me. So we put that in the centre. That's it, scrape it all in. Wonderful. And by 300 mils of water. And then we're going to stir that in. So give it a good stir. Cut. So my dough is nice and stiff, it's sort of the right consistency. And Chris too here, he's going to need this for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Alright? I've lightly floured the board first so it doesn't stick. Yeah, have a go at eating. That's it. Push it down. That's it. Some people use their knuckles, some people use their hand, that's yes, it. Give it a bit more welling than that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, give it a hard time like this. Oh. Chris has done an amazing job. Yeah. He's been kneading my bread. Yeah. And it's all nice and satiny and smooth. Um, as we're doing a focaccia tub, or focaccia, um, we need to put a little bit more oil in it. So I've got another two tablespoons of olive oil and a pinch of salt. And we're just going to work that in for a little bit, Chris. So I'm going to give that a mix around with your hands. You've washed them, so that's good. This is all ready to prove now. As you can see, it's quite a bit oily. So I'm going to put that one into my bowl there. I'm going to cover that with clean film. I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes to an hour in a warm place so it's virtually double the size. While our dough is rising, Chris is going to lightly fry our onions until they're soft and then we're going to put them to one side. So we've allowed that to rise for about one hour. It's lovely, isn't it? It's gone back double the size. So Chris is now going to knock it back a bit just to get some of the air out. So I'm going to go at that minute. That's it, give it a good old oogie knuckle, that's it. You got it. Okay, when you've done that, beautiful. You can stop now. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah. We're going to put it on here. And what I want you to do is to stretch it so it fits the tin. Chris, once again, you've done a fabulous yeah. job. He's made that stretch our baking tray. Um, probably about a Swiss roll tin would probably do, really. I'm going to cover that up and leave that to prove for another 20 minutes in my warm place. So my oven has been preheated to 180 degrees centigrade. We've allowed that to prove for another 20 minutes, so that's looking pretty good. So Chris is now going to put a layer of the, um, the cooked onions all over the top, nice and evenly. fingers are clean so I'll help spread them around a little bit. Just a bit of quickness. It smells good already, doesn't it? But you can't wait to eat this, can you? Yeah. Just <laughs> in time for lunch. Yeah. That's it. That's looking pretty good. Wonderful. Next thing. Let's put our um, sprigs of rosemary, let's put that all over the top, nice and evenly. Look at that. Looking good. That's it, scrape it all off. Now for the best bit, put some little finger dips in it. Not too deep, just a, that's it, like that. do then is put our oil over the top, okay, make sure it's all nice and around the edges as well. Be 
you're a proper bread meister, you aren't you? Yeah. That's lovely. Just tip a bit in the middle then. It's about a tablespoon of oil. Some salt in there too. Just a little sprinkle. And I'm going to pop that in the oven and I'm going to cook it for about 30 minutes until it's golden brown. Looking good, isn't it? So this has been in for 30 minutes. It smells absolutely lovely, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, so I've torn a bit off. Look at that inside there. Okay. Let's try a bit. I'll let you have some in a little bit, Ross. You're okay. Mm, that was lovely. That was absolutely delicious. I would say it will set, um, keep for a couple of days, but we've got a plague of locusts that work here, so this will be gone in seconds.